All right. So if we use the ratio test, a n plus one over a n, I'm gonna ask a student here to help me to finish it. Limit n goes to infinity. Okay. Um, Zijian, can you help me to finish this? A n plus one over a n. So m plus one perfect. Ten over nine. Plus two. So then. Okay. So what do we got in that next? Okay, 10 over 9 over n. So what is this? So what's the end in the end what's the answer? 10 over 9 why? Yeah, we can use the Optos rule on this part, which is infinity over infinity. You take the inf uh, derivative is 1, derivative is 1, derivative of 1 is 0, so it's 1 over 1 is 1. So the final answer is just 10 over 9. And 10 over 9 compared with 1, so it's bigger than 1. Then we got this series diverge. So perfect, thank you very much. So we got this series diverge. Okay. Alright, so next, let's look at, um, next example. Five seconds. Okay, five seconds to work on this one. Alright, I'm going to call a student here to help me with this one. Taylor, could you please help me with this one? Oh, uh, the limit as n goes to infinity is just going to be 2 pi over 3 to the power of n plus 1. Very good. Then over 2 pi over 3 to the power of n. Mm -hmm. This equals. I'm not too sure where to go from there. Okay, so do we cancel something? Could that just become n plus 1 over n? Um, okay, so 3, I'm going to write down something. Can I break down the 2 pi over 3n to n the plus 1 power into 2, 2 pi over 3n Multiply by another 2 pi over 3. Would that be good? Taylor? In the top. Yes? Because this is n plus power, so it's going to be the multiplication of 2 pi over 3 to power n multiplied by another piece of 2 pi over 3, right? Okay. Okay, so then can you tell me what you think. Yeah. 
the 2 pi over 3 to the power n would cancel out then? Yes. And then you got uh, 2 pi over 3, which is bigger than 1 or less than 1. Bigger than 1? Bigger than 1. So the whole series is diverge or converge? Diverges. Diverges. Very good. Thank you very much. Very good. Okay. So if we use ratio test, we got this is 2 pi over 3 bigger than 1. Well, if you don't use visual test, use geometric series is fine too. Okay, this is a kind of geometric series as well, right? You can have r to power n. It does not say a1, you can look at a is 1. Right, it diverges. Right, let's continue. On the last test we're going to do, it's root test. After we do with the root test, all the geometric series convert, all the, sorry, all the series convergence were done with the C series. And the, but no, the convergence part. We're going to continue with the Taylor series, McLaurin series. Later on, well, I'm going to explain why we need to learn all of this series stuff. Well, we do know if it converge or diverge. It's very important if we look at this diverge or converge to apply for sort for the functions later. Okay. So let's next we're going to look at the last test we're going to do for the series convergence. It's root test. For the series a n, if the limit n goes to infinity, nth root of a n, absolute value. Because the a n could be negative, but if you add absolute value, it's positive, then you take the nth root, square root, especially the eventh root. If you take the eventh root, it has to be a positive number, otherwise you're going to get a complex number. So we have to add absolute value on the a n, then I can take any root on it. Okay. So if you take nth root on a n, take the limit, it converge if it's I'll ask one diverge and um, inconclusive. All right, so yeah, I've put a three here. I'm going to ask a student, just a guess what you think it would be. Bigger than one, good, less than one, or equal one. Okay. Um, Eric, I'm going to call a student here. Eric, could you please tell me if this one bigger than one or less than one? Just a guess. Less than one. This one? Greater than one, this one equals. equals one. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. So this one, the nth root, it converge if it's less than one, it diverge if the nth root is bigger than one, is inconclusive uh, if it equals one. Okay? And uh, we're going to use this test to look at some examples. It works very good with the uh, um, with the p with the p series. No, not p series. With the um, the power which have an nth root, so it have an nth power. For example, one over puff, one over five n. But we still can work on this one using the uh, we can use the ratio test. We can use the geometric series. This is part one of a geometric series as well. But then we, if we use the nth root on this one. You got limit n goes to infinity, nth root of 1, 5, m. Okay, so this equals limit n goes to infinity, nth root of 1 over 5 to power n. And the nth power and the nth root cancel out equals 1 over 5. And this is the last one, so it converges. You can use the ratio test on this one as well. It also equals 1 over 5. Okay. So, second one m from 1 to infinity, 1 over n to power n. Okay. 
this is not a geometric series anymore because the ratio is not a constant. The ratio is not one fifth. R is one of n is not a like a constant. Okay, it, because n is always changing. Okay, it's not a geometric series, and uh, we possible that we can use ratio test, but if we use root test, it's much simpler. Okay, so. Let's look at if I use a ratio test, what happened? If you use a ratio test, you got n from one to inf uh, n goes to infinity. The ratio test, since we just did a ratio test, right? Then you get what? You get n plus one to power n plus one over n to power m. This is your ratio test. So there's nothing you can cancel out. There's nothing you can cancel out on the ratio test. Because you don't have anything in common. Okay, so in the ratio test, no, my, I think I did it wrong. Is um, one over n plus one to power n plus one times m to n over one, because it's a m plus one over a n, right? If you use ratio test to get something like this, limit n goes to infinity, and n to power n over n plus one to power n plus one. So, there's nothing you can come you can cancel out. You could work on this one as limit n goes to infinity, and uh, you can do n to power n and n plus one to power m, and then multiply by another n plus one. And then what you do, you have to do limit n goes to infinity, n and n plus one is n over n plus one to power n, and it's still not so easy to get it because this is infinity over infinity form to infinity is one to infinity form. We still cannot tell anything about it. Okay, so it's not so easy to get the final answer here. You could use the you could use the uh, the laptop screw on the top, laptop screw on the bottom, but um, it's pretty much like x power x. Use laptop screw. What did you get? Right. So it's not so easy to do the ratio test, but you, yeah, you still can work it out. In the end, you do n, n goes to infinity, and you change that into one minus one over plus n into power n times one. Because this one it goes to zero for sure, you just prove this one is a constant. Okay, then it goes to zero in the end. All right, but it's you have to use the ln thing to prove this one again. I think this one goes to one over e something like that. Okay, you have to do this one with the additional work. So the ratio test it might it may work. It takes a long time to finish it. So what if I use the nth root test? It's much easier. Just one step. You look at nth root of a n, which is just the nth root of one over n to power n. The nth root and nth power cancel out. It's just one over n. N and n cancel just one over n. This equals zero. Perfect. It's less than one, so it converges. Does it make sense, everyone? Okay. So. If for this example particular, you can see that n through test is much easier. Take the n through, cancel out, you get one over n zero, converge. Well done. We don't have to use p series because it's not p series. We cannot use that. We use the integral test is not a simple integral because it's the n to power n is pretty much like x power x, right? So this in this one is much easier use n through test. Okay. So next one. When do you use nth root test? Whenever you see a power n, it will be much powerful. For example, n from one to infinity, n to two n plus one over n. Now see that's nth power, right? If you use nth root test, it will be much very very um, powerful, very very convenient. I'll give you ten seconds to finish this one.
Okay, I will call a student to help me here. Um, Lacey, could you please help me finish this one? Wait, I can't hear anything. Limit angles to infinity. Can we um, use the integral test for this one? Um, uh, no, root test. I, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so I'll give you a little bit of help. It was nth root of a n. R a n is going to be n over two n plus one. To power n, yes. So it's the limit. n goes to infinity, and nth root of n over two n plus one to power n. Then now, uh, if we, uh, can we use the long-term rule? Okay, so this is the nth rule, this is the nth power. What happened? Mm. Alright, so square root of 2 squared. What happened? 2. 2, why? Because this is the root and the root cancel out, right? And then what, what the limit is? Name it n goes to yeah, infinity? I, I said we can use uh, log 2's rule for n over 2n plus 1. Yeah, this two cancel out, right? This is n over 2n plus 1. Alright, so what is the final answer? 1 over 2. 1 over 2, which is less than 1. So they use the root test root test, then this series will converge or diverge. Uh, it's gonna converge. It's gonna converge. Very good. Okay, it converges. Because the root test, the root, uh, nth root of the a and last one, so it converge. Thank you very much. Okay. So, ne next one, we can look at another one. n equals 1 to infinity. 2n over m plus 1 to power m. The third exam, which is before the Thanksgiving, right? And um, the test will have at least 50 points. Half of the test will be converge or diverge. Like determine the series diverge convert. And some problems will be from the class work. Alright, so I will call a student here to help me with it. I'm going to call a student here. Okay. Bella, could you please help me with this one? Is, is that... Two to the n or two n? Oh, this one, two to just two n. Okay, so then it's limit, uh, and then two square root with n, yeah, and then two n over n plus one to the n. Mm-hmm. Then what happened? That goes to two. Limit and goes to infinity. Oh, it goes to the final answer is 2? Is that what it is? Okay, exactly. So n cancel out and it's 2n over n plus 1, so the answer is 2, which is bigger than 1. Okay, if you got that final answer equal 2 in the right, it's fine. So cancel out 2n over n plus 1, use laptop, so it's 2 over 1, so it's 2 is bigger than 1. So the series. 
diverges very good, perfect, or it diverges. Right, m plus 1 to power n diverges. Okay, you can tell this one, you see that if we use, um, if we use, it's not a geometric series. It's pretty much like a geometric series, it's not, right? It compares 2n over n plus 1 is 2 to the power n, it's like that. But if we use the rule test, it's just so much easier. Okay, number 5. Limit n from 2 to infinity, negative 1 to power n, ln n to power m. Alright, I'm going to call a student here to help me finish this. Uh, Luke, could you please help me with this one? So you have the limit as n approaches infinity, nth root of negative 1 over ln n to the n power. Yes, so uh, I need an absolute value for that because it's negative 1 here, right? Yep. And the n power is going to cancel out, and you're going to have 1 over ln n, okay. which converges to 0, Okay. and the whole sum is going to converge. So it's less than 1. Compared with the 1, less than 1, so it converges. Perfect, thank you very much. So now, this um, root test is really powerful with, a lot, with the n's, right? right? So next one, The series m from one to infinity n over three m. So I'm going to call a student here to help me finish it. Uh, Joshua, could you please help me with this one? Yeah. Um, so you take the limit as n approaches infinity of um, the nth root. Um, and this one is in a, the n power, so what I do is I take the nth root of n over 3 to the n. So what do you got next? Um, no, I wasn't really sure what to do. So what do you think the at the bottom, at least the m root of 3 to the power m? Oh, that's just a 3. That's just a 3. 
So now you have a problem with the nth root of n. How about let's work together. So nth root of n, if I write in the power form, it would be like n to what power? So 1 over n. 1 over n. Very good. So now I'm looking for limit n goes to infinity uh, n to 1 over n. Looking for this one. So in order to find the infinity of this one, I don't have anything like uh, infinity of infinity form, zero of zero form. So I need to create something like that. Okay. Uh, as I said, we in the previous a lot of examples, we have a power has a we have power have n or x. So what do we do? Normally, except well that equals y, we take ln on both sides. Okay. So we got ln y equals Lm n to power 1 over n. So this one we got ln y equals limit n goes to infinity. And uh, this one I can write out 1 over n times ln n. Okay. And then I got this one as ln limit n goes to infinity ln n over n. Oh, okay. Okay. Here, I would like to ask you again. Okay, Joshua, I would like to ask you again. Uh, what do I do from here? Could you do laptops? Laptops rule because this is infinity. This is infinity. Use laptops rule. I got it. What? One over n. One over n. One. This equals. One of them, which is zero. zero. Okay, let me zero. So I got the limit. We got ln y. Ln y equals zero. What is y? One. One. So if y equals one, which means this equals one, and which means my nth root of n limit n goes infinity. This whole thing equals what? Joshua. I got y equals n, n over n, 1 over n equals 1. So the whole thing, the nth root of n equals 1, right, Joshua? And you put that over the third. You put that over, yeah, to the 1 is going to be 1 third. And this one, compared with the 1, less than 1. So they converges. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. M from 1 to infinity, and the n over 3 to power n converges. Okay. Okay, so next one. Number 6. Let's look at number 7. M from 2 to infinity, n, l, n, n to power n. Okay, I, I will call a student here. I'm going to ask a student to help me here. Alright, so limit and goes to infinity. I'm going to ask a student to help me with this one. Travis, could you please help me with this one? Uh, this one I did, it was the nth root of n over the nth root of ln n. 
Okay. Very good. So what you got? Um, would that be one over infinity is gonna equal one? Wait. Is one over L and N is one over infinity? That's right. Okay, you can't normally we don't write as one over infinity because infinity is not a number. Okay, so we we can estimate as one over infinity, like right here, like a com estimate. One over infinity equals what? Travis, what is one over infinity? So infinity is a big number, 1 over a really big number equals what? Uh, zero. 0, very good, okay. So 1 over L, N, N goes to infinity, L, N infinity is infinity, 1 over infinity equals 0. And then compare this with 1, so this is less than 1, Travis, is this serious? Converge. Converge, very good. Yep. Thank you very much, L, N to power N converges. So in the test, you're going to have um, a lot of problems like this kind. Like ratio test, the root test, eventually anyway, you can you should be able to get one work out. Okay. All right. So uh, next one, we're going to do more example. Use any test. Since we're done with the root test, use any test for the following problems. You can do any test now, ratio test, root test, P-series. N from 1 to infinity, N over 2, N squared plus 1. And uh, test convergence or divergence. Use any test you've learned. So we don't have any nth power. This is just a square. We will not use the nth root test. Okay. I'll give you 10 seconds. Alright, I'm going to call a student here to help me with it. Jasper, what task do you think we can use? Uh, I use the comparison test. Compare with which one? Uh, 1 over n. 1 over n, very good. We use comparison test, n goes to infinity, n over 2, wait, n over 2n squared plus 1 over 1 over n. This equals limit and goes to infinity. We got n squared over 2 n squared plus 1. So we got the comparison test. This equals what? Uh, one half. One half. And the series 1 over n diverge or converge? Diverge. Why? P series P equals Y diverge. Perfect. So this is the P series E diverge. Since this one, since this series M from 1 to infinity 1 of N diverge, what about the original series itself? It also diverges. It also diverge. Perfect. Very good. Okay, this one also diverges. Okay, so let me see. Number two. Mm 
Hmm. I'm thinking which one. Okay. Turn from one to infinity. Turn over. No, I don't think. Okay, yeah. Three square root of n cube. Alright, since we are um, almost running out of time, now I'm just write this as quick as possible. Um, since this one you can write as 10 over 3, m from 1 to infinity, n to the uh, tooth, wait, the constant you can take it out, constant, is 1 over square root of n cube. So this is 10 over 3, the from 1 to infinity, 1 over n to 3 halves power. Use p series, p is 3 halves, is bigger than 1. Therefore, this series converge. Okay, alright. I think we are done with the, um, the ratio test, the root test, and then tomorrow we're going to continue with the uh, section 9.7, uh, which is uh, Taylor polynomials and approximations all right and I'll assign the homework for this week today and uh, for the converging series and the polynomial series approximations uh, thank you all very much for coming